latest asteroid news. NASA is tracking a one-mile asteroid cruising past our Earth this week at 26,000 miles an hour. It measures nearly one mile across and it'll hurtle past Earth this week as NASA's tracking systems confirm the space rock will make a close, quote-unquote, flyby safely. Asteroid 1997BQ racing around the Sun on a trajectory that will bring it within close approach astronomically to our Earth. NASA's tracking dozens of these so-called near-Earth objects, the NEOs, making close approaches to our Earth every month, but very rarely do they raise any concerns. But asteroid BQ 1997 is the largest space rock to come flying by between now and July, and it'll ser it serves to remind scientists of the potential dangers lurking in deep space. Asteroid BQ will be closest to Earth on uh, tomorrow, May 21st, uh, during the night, flying by from a distance of about 0.4115 astronomical units. NASA's Center for Near-Earth Objects, CNEOs, tracks all uh, near-Earth objects coming within 0.05 AU of the planet. That's more than 4.6 million miles. So that means that it's about at about 10.45 tomorrow, the, uh, that's UTC time, the asteroid will fly by from a distance of more than 3.8 million miles, which is 16 times farther out from uh, the Earth's moon. NASA said as they orbit the Sun, NEOs can occasionally approach close to Earth. Note that a close passage astronomically can be very far away in human terms, millions or even tens of millions of miles. The large space rock was first spotted in 1997 in our solar system and it was observed last February 15, 2020. And based on the brightness, astronomers estimate the rock measures between 2,191 feet or 100 and, uh, 100, uh, 1.4 kilometers across. The, at the lower end of NASA's estimate, asteroid BQ is comparable in height to the Canton Tower in Gunzhou, China. In the upper end of NASA's estimate, the asteroid is taller than the Burj Dubai skyscraper in Dubai. And even though the asteroid poses, poses no threat to us here on Earth, now or in the future, asteroids this big could be potentially cataclysmic because they're so big. NASA predicts any impact to bigger than one kilometer across could have worldwide effects. And as a result, the asteroid has been branded potentially hazard. Hazard asteroids are all space rocks measuring more than 460 feet across or 140 meters across and uh, about four and a half billion miles away. NASA said potentially hazardous asteroids are currently defined based on parameters that measure the asteroid's potential to make threatening close approaches to Earth. Asteroid BQ is racing through space at speeds of 26,127 miles per hour or 43,000 some odd kilometers per hour. Once the asteroid safely passes, NASA's orbital calculations show the rock will continue to visit Earth at least until 2,191. The next three visits will fall February 21st in 2027. May 31st, 2050, and March 12th, 2057. NASA can also wind the clock backwards to see the asteroid has been flying by since at least the year 1900. Detailed calculations like these keep the planet safe and can spot any threat of impact many years in advance. NASA said because of the ongoing search efforts to find nearly all the large near-Earth objects, Objects will occasionally be found to be on very close Earth approaching trajectories and great care must be taken to verify any Earth collision predictions that are made. Given the extremely unlikely nature of such a collision, almost all of these predictions will turn out to be false alarms. But if an object is verified to be on an Earth collision trajectory, it seems likely that this collision possibility will be known several years prior to the actual event. This is on Express UK by Sebastian Ketley.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.